I'm from Stockbridge, Georgia. It's about 30 minutes south of Atlanta. We moved up to Gwinnett uh, in about 2016 after I graduated high school. I was really into softball. Um, however, even though like I played softball, I was more into the guy side. So baseball was my big thing. Um, I could argue with you with the stats of every baseball player, including my favorite, Dan Ugla. I've definitely changed as a person completely. Um, I went from thinking I was gonna be playing with Ginny Finch on the Olympic softball team to wanting to make it to CrossFit Regionals and still wanting to be an elite CrossFitter. Um, however, I also want to pair that with figure. I want to compete in my first figure show this summer. And after I quit softball at about 17, um, I needed something else because I had put on some weight and CrossFit was the first thing that I thought of. And I remember walking into the gym with baggy clothes, being super shy and super quiet and then turning into who I am now. I think softball, it was more of a dream because I didn't have confidence that I could um, actually take it somewhere. So it was more of like a dream aspect. And now um, at 22, making it as an elite CrossFitter and making it in the figure uh, community, I feel as though it's more attainable, if that makes sense. Um, so my goals have really changed because I train super hard. Um, I'm super focused, especially when I'm on prep and I'm given um, plans, I follow through completely. CrossFit has a community that's very unique to a lot of other communities. In a sense of when I'm trying to hit a big lift PR, right? And everyone knows it. Everyone kind of circles around me. I tighten my belt, I walk over, deep breath, and I pull the bar. And it's me and the bar, but it's also, I'm feeding off of that energy from everyone around me. And it's the same way when I compete as well. Like, you know, kind of eyes are on you to do well. And like, Literally everyone here wants to see the other person succeed. There is no, yeah, if we're competing against each other, you know, we, I want to beat you, but there's still a camaraderie afterwards that we're still cool afterwards, you know, like come on to my gym and let's train. And that's what the entire CrossFit community as a whole. Um, so I think that's the aspect of CrossFit that really just draws me and it has allowed me to grow. So from 17 year old me to 22 year old me, I have matured basically in CrossFit gyms. You know, every emotional distress that I've had, whether it's school or relationships, I'm able to talk to someone that I look up to, at, whether it's a coach in the gym, or I'm able to let it out on weights or my gymnastics and focus and hone in on that. And CrossFit has just matured me as an individual. I compete with another female. Um, we are looking to compete this fall um, in either Pensacola or Clearwater at one of the big brawls for CrossFit. Um, however, I have another goal that kind of um, doesn't intertwine at all. I actually am going to be competing my first figure show this summer as well. Um, and if all goes well, we do have a national show in the back of our heads. So one of the people that I look up to um, in the fitness industry um, is Dana Lynn Bailey. And back when I first started CrossFit, she used to train with a female by the name of Miranda Oldroyd. I think her name is Miranda Alvarez now. She remarried. Um, but they used to train together. And Miranda was CrossFit. Dana was bodybuilding. And I liked both of their shapes, right? Miranda was, you know, built, but she was a little bit skinnier. And then Dana was built, but she was bigger. And I remember looking at both of them and being like, oh my God, like I wanna be like her, but then I wanna be like her too. And especially Dana Lynn Bailey has really been the, the person that I've looked up to in the fitness industry as a whole across all spectrums. And I've always loved her body type. And even though she was physique, I still like kind of got into that. And so even now, um, I'm just amazed by how women can transform their bodies into this beautiful statuesque stru structure. Um, and I really wanna see if I can do that myself. Um, I am in school right now. I would love to become a dental hygienist. So right now I'm actually in a program um, for dental assisting so that I can hopefully get into the dental hygiene program. It's a very competitive program um, as well as I have a running joke with everyone who knows me. I have an electric vehicle and I am trying to get out of that by the end of the year um, because I spend majority of my day charging my vehicle. <laughs> so 
Like everything else, um, whether it was my interest in baseball, or whether it was my interest in CrossFit or bodybuilding, um, I'm a YouTube snoop, so I stay on YouTube and I keep searching all of these athletes and what they do a day in the life and what are they going to at the grocery store. And I came across Evans and Dapani. And I just think that just him as an individual, it was um, looking into how he thinks of food in terms of not just macronutrients, but micronutrients and overall health aside from bodybuilding. And he's very big with Animal Pack and I just remember being like, okay, and as well as Steffi Cohen. So I found out about Animal based off of two main athletes. Um, and let's see, I really enjoy their whey protein. Um, with my fitness journey for the past six years, I have tasted multiple proteins and some of them don't digest very well at all. Um, I get like a huge knot in my stomach um, when I digest some of those. So the whey protein is very attractive to me because it digests very well. Um, that is something that I look for as a customer um, in terms. And even their pre-workout. So I've tried different pre-workouts that are you know, that make me go to the restroom immediately or that don't really give me that pump, that don't really give me that focus. So um, Animal Theory has been one of the products that I've enjoyed a lot as well. So when you like meet like one of your superheroes or like you meet someone that, or like a, you know, you meet something or someone that you've kind of looked up to and to be affiliated, even affiliated with a brand that has so much history, that has so much like, just, I, I don't know, it's just crazy. It's still kind of surreal to even realize like Sydney Wilson is associated with the animal. Like that's something that I would have never thought of, you know, having some of the greats like, you know, Frank McGrath or Evan Sintapani or Steffi Cohen and like being able to be in like the same field, you know, um, when Joseph sent out an email and I was attached and I saw Steffi Cohen attached to it, I was like, holy crap, what? <laughs> so. Right. My biggest thing that I like to say, it's even on my jump rope, 1% better every day, right? So you come in here, you start with a foundation. We're gonna get you to learn how to do push-ups before we even start talking about handstand push-ups or handstand walks. We really wanna build that shoulder stability. So it's staying in your lane, progressive overload every time, whether that's within CrossFit or whether that's within, you know, strength training, bodybuilding, powerlifting, anything. Just stay in your lane and just continue to remember your why. Why am I doing this? because I want a better life, I want to be healthier, I want to look good when I you know, go to the beach this summer. So really stay in your lane and just know that every day that you come in, you're, you're building on yourself, you know? And fast results aren't always the best results. So I'll have people that come in and they're like, I want to lose 50 pounds in three months. And I'm like, listen, even if you lose a pound a week for 52 weeks in the year, you've lost 52 pounds healthy and you're able to keep it off. So, you know, it's a marathon, not a sprint, right? <laughs>